femoral nerve block is great for an LGCN hip and femur fracture. This is a patient with chronic kidney disease, type 2 diabetes and IHD, who had a fall and suffered a subtrochanteric femur fracture. She had received IV opioids, but still had significant pain and severe cordyceps spasm. We decided to perform a femoral nerve block to help with the pain from her hip fracture. In order to perform this block, a linear probe is placed in the inguinal crease, as shown in this image from the Nysura website. Let's identify the relevant sonoanatomy. Identify the femoral artery, the fascia iliaca which encloses the femoral nerve as shown. We inject a small amount of local anesthetic to identify the spread. The spread looks good. We can see the local anesthetic spread and push the femoral nerve down. Hydro dissect and lead with the local anesthetic. Here you can identify the femoral nerve clearly. The needle is also readjusted to infiltrate the local anesthetic below the femoral nerve. This allows for a good spread around the nerve. We scan the thigh proximally and distally along the femoral nerve after the injection and can note that the femoral nerve is surrounded well with local anesthetic. This is my general practice to do a post-injection scan to confirm the spread of local anesthetic. We also scan the thigh laterally and interestingly we note the spread of local anesthetic around the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Patient had very good analgesic effect from the block and did not require any more opioid analgesia till the surgical fixation. So go ahead and try the femoral nerve block in such patients and provide them with the best care possible.